Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today, and a lot of my videos are kind of lost history and incorrect history or history I have a problem with, but we're going to go down to the capital of the Hittites. This is in Turkey. This is coming from about 3,500 years ago. This is called Hattusis or Hattusa, a few different ways to say it, but they hung out here for about 500 years. But I'm just thinking, was there a culture here that built all here a long time before the Hittites got here? That is the question I'm going to ask. But these are some of the ruins of Hattusis. And I just think that possibly there was somebody here a long time before they got here. And they just built on top of some older ruins. And that would be common with the way things are done, really, all around the world. But here are some of the ruins of Hattusis. And this place right here, I believe this is called the Temple of the Storm God. But I haven't really researched a lot about the Hittites. I know they are mentioned in the Old Testament. Um, also, they had a war with the Egyptians and at Kadesh. And they had a battle near the Orontes River in Syria. And there was a peace treaty signed, and I think that is the oldest peace treaty that we have on record that is signed by both parties. But I think we are looking at some ruins here that it just seems to me that are very ancient and under the ground. And there's some stonework that looks very suspicious, and I'll show you that at the towards the end of the video but here. The main thing I have an issue with is this structure right here. And all that kind of pokes out is this end of it. But it seems to me we have a lot of stuff right under here and down that was buried. Or it just seems like these little smaller temples right down here are just built on top of some older, bigger ruins. And this is called, and see, this is the slope here, and this is the top of this hill. And it seems there was a big pyramid up here. This is called the Yerkapi, or Yerkapi Pyramid or a rampart, or a fort. It's not even called a pyramid, but to me, it's obviously a huge structure. This is over 750 feet long. I think it's over 250 meters and about 250 feet wide. It's not even called a pyramid, but here you can see the, the side of it, and I'll show you some pictures here. But obviously not a fort, but here we are aligned perfectly to north, and the sides of this are absolutely perfectly aligned to north. And there is an entrance here that goes all the way through. So if this is a fort, why would they put why would they put a tunnel where invaders could just go right through into the main part of the city? And the slope of this is not that great. People could have just climbed right over easily, any army, so I don't think for a defense structure this was built at all. But let's go down and just take a look around here. And now, here we are on top, and this is obviously a huge, massive pyramid. Perfectly smooth walls coming up here. And then down the back side, this is perfectly aligned. So I think we are facing perfectly west here. I believe you are facing perfectly south here. And I think this is the Lion's Gate. I'll show you a pic of that in a second. That the Hittites obviously built, but they built it on top of a massive, a massive structure that is underneath the ground here. That is extremely clear to me when you have perfectly smooth walls, perfect, perfect alignment. Plus you have about a third of it sticking out. Now here is a pic from one of the bottom corners, and here you can see how it's symmetrical. The ridge coming down here. But did the Hittites just put their stonework over an original structure? Because it seems there certainly was a massive structure here that time has kind of buried. Seems like most of this is already uh, buried by history. Here is another pick. Did the Hittites just build some corner features? on top of a hill and then no this seems like one massive structure that has been buried by time and the hittites you see their work up here they they were capable of building 
this pretty good sized wall on top of this seems like it's a very big maybe a very ancient pyramid can't help but think that but i've looked at enough ancient sites where one thing really is apparent to me that this sedimentation was already there when the hittites 3500 years ago built their walls i think the sedimentation was already there making this very very ancient possibly just bringing up possibilities here now here is a structure i think looking perfectly north but here you can see the pyramid sticking out of the ground on this side the entrance right here to a tunnel and i'll show you that in a second but the hittites built some walls on top of this that's clear but were the hittites building this massive pyramid here that looks like it's already sedimentation looks like Many thousands of years have already, has already taken over. That is a great question to ask here. But this place, Hattusa, has a strange history, and I'm going to read about that here. Now, as far as pyramids that are well known, is this even considered a pyramid by most people? And what is a little bit of the history? It says, on this website, this is Ancient Wisdom, it says, one of the most remarkable monuments of the upper city is a large oblong pyramid, some 250 by 70 meters wide and 30 meters high at the southern end of the citadel. A kind of rampart was built on top of this platform consisting of a single line of walls with several towers, two gateways decorated by sphinxes. And actually they are just lions. A sphinx is a lion's body, a woman's head, and wings. That is a sphinx. You just have a lion sitting there. That is not considered a sphinx to me. It says this huge enigmatic structure is usually called a fortress or rampart, but it is at very least a pyramid-shaped structure without defense features. A large stairway leads up to the summit and a long thin tunnel pierces it from side to side over a length of 69 meters leading into the middle of the complex. The two entrances, a small tunnel below and the Sphinx gateway at the top are more suggestive of a different means of access into the city. One, functional direct route below and the other perhaps more for public access adorned with symbolism and ceremony and that is all up for speculation here is the tunnel going all the way through was this built by the hittites maybe now check this out here's a wall at hattusa now where have we seen this construction before this looks like something I've seen in Peru, Saxe Huaman, with those angled megalithic blocks like that. That just sniffs of real, real ancient history to me. And just as in Egypt, you have some perfect circular, almost like drill holes, and some rocks here. And these are found in many different places. Was there an older culture here? And then the Hittites just built here 3,500 years ago. Like, say, the, you know, the 18th dynasty Egyptians were doing in Egypt at this time. I wonder. Well, I'm going to go through some pics here. This is what they call the lion's gate. That is the correct term. These are not sphinxes. Sphinxes are lion's bodies, woman's heads, and wings. That is a sphinx. But here you see, this is a wall I think was reconstructed, maybe to give the original look to it but that was done very recently and here are some strange pics from the ruins of Hattusa there are a few things I want to point out here here's that modern wall here seems to be a gateway into a temple some more stonework the ruins from the Hittites we have some bigger stranger rocks here even bigger ones this one seems to have been like carved out of or the middle taken out of this one here's that strange hole drilled some big blocks here that don't seem to match any of the other stonework here and they have holes drilled in them what does that mean who knows big ruins here is a green rock 
And here you see these almost like tubs or basins carved out in the background. But this green rock here, where it came from, why it's here, the purpose, the origin, was this brought here in prehistory? I think those are good questions to ask, but this is a total freaking mystery. Now let's just read a little bit about the Great Temple. It says the Great Temple occupies a privileged position in the lower city. It was probably built by Hattusili III, 1265 to 1235 BC, although the exact date of its construction is not known. It consists of a massive precinct of some 14,000 square meters with the temple itself measuring 42 by 65 meters. It says the temple, which was likely dedicated to the local Hittite version of the storm god, is notable for its distinct megalithic construction. The base courses consist, consist of huge ashlars of dark green andesite stone, unlike most buildings at Hattusis, which are built of local gray limestone, some which are as large as 6 to 8 meters long and weighing over 40 tons. The temple has three cultic chambers which are slightly offset from the general access of the temple. The main altar room also possessed a couple of windows oriented toward some point to the horizon which bear an uncanny resemblance to Incan masonry and the great sun temple of Coricancha in ancient Cuzco. Now this massive green stone, this website has a little speculation on it here, but we will just read. It says, within the Great Temple Precinct, one also finds a large green stone boulder, probably nephrite or jadeite, which has been the subject of much speculation. It is believed it was a gift by Ramses II to the Hittites following the peace treaty of Kadesh. Although the claim cannot be proven, the stone has a perfectly smooth touch and an almost mere polish. It was certainly the object of some cult, but one wonders how it came there in the first place. And that is one of the stranger things I have seen in an ancient site. Stones of different types had significant meaning to ancient cultures, what this had, what the meaning of this was. Anybody can comment on that because I have no clue. Now, the real mystery of Hattusis is what happened to the place because it appears that this place was incinerated. Was it incinerated by an army or was it incinerated by something unnamed? But it speculates this way. It is perhaps no chance that about the same time the great centers of the Near East were abruptly incinerated, burnt in great flames were the ancient cities of Palestine and the fortresses of Syria, and even cities in the Egyptian Delta succumbed and were turned into smoking ruins. It is difficult to imagine an invading army could have overthrown in a space of years, or perhaps even less, an empire so powerful as to com compete with Egypt for control over the Near East at its height less than one century before, and it says, and even more difficult it is to imagine what enemy could have so easily penetrated into the city of Hattusas, defended as it was by the strongest defensive walls of any Bronze Age city in the Near East or elsewhere in the ancient world, in such a manner as to lay complete destruction over the whole Hittite empire. And it says, there are even those among historians who suggest it was no invading army to engulf all of the ancient Near East in flames, but rather a fire from heaven, perhaps a large meteorite or comet. And it says on this website, Hattusis was not the only city to be destroyed by fire at this time, as other cities in central Anatolia appeared to have met the same fate. Balaka Hoyuk, some 25 kilometers to the north, also, also perished in a fiery catastrophe. Hittite palaces at Masat and Frockton, as well as the fortified citadel of Karaogan near the present day Ankara, were also burnt to the ground in catastrophic fires. So there appears to be a couple mysteries. What was the source of the fiery end that did away with cities around this area in this part of the world? 
What is this massive structure exactly and who built it and when? That the Hittites built their walls on top of? Appears that time has been covering this place up. Here's a look again from the corner of this massive structure that I will certainly call a pyramid. But I just think this is a true mystery. When was this originally built? Seems the Hittites were building on top of something that was already here and very ancient and pretty important. But I think I'll end it here. I think this is a big mystery. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day.